Hello, 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 and welcome back to the UK inspired rail network by myself, DG UK. What did we do? Well, last time out, we started work on the Great Western Main Line. I believe I've got that right. Um, so we made our way from Paddington. We filled in this area here. I still haven't touched it. I've been incredibly busy and distracted. Um, we did a little bit of detailing as the game mildly locks up during that conversation. That was interesting, wasn't it? Um, and I'm still unsure about this, and I still might move this in. Um, so that's what we got done last time. We left this nice big gap here because I'm also tempted, actually, in a funny old way. I'm tempted to leave this as is and roll with it and leave that space there because if we're going to be building the uh, HS2 station there, then do we need the space in the future? Maybe. So we'll see. So I, I, as it is, we're going to leave it like that. My plan was to go as far as somewhere like one of the Ealings and then uh, a little bit beyond and then turn into Heathrow um, with the Elizabeth line and I think a couple more like with that, with that way. But I've changed my mind and we're going to go back on the West Coast main line. Um, and we're going to travel up a little bit to the Midlands, and we are going to do Coventry. Now, the reason being is, is I'm trying to get away from London a little bit and just build that out. And have the, some of the some of the services I've got are a little bit crumpled together, and I'd like to spread them out. And if I could spread them out enough by adding Coventry, at least I can add that line, and it will spread them out, and there'll be a little bit more space between services, and we'd have a little bit less traffic on the West Coast Main Line. Number two is I'd also like that to be a little bit better for you because after straight after I've edited this episode, straight after this episode drops on YouTube, I'm going to upload the latest safe, safe game file to Steam for you guys. So keep a lookout. I will probably add a comment rather than put it in the description or I'll do both. So keep a lookout when this video is dropped. There will likely be a link below with the uh download obviously for the save game so you guys can expand on this fix anything that you don't like and enjoy the map you know as much as you possibly can i guess i've had a few of you lately asking when you're going to drop it so i thought now's the time i was going to do it every 10 episodes but i soon realized that it'd be more geared towards when i feel that there's a section kind of complete that you guys can maybe play with and i feel satisfied that there's enough playable kind of content there for you guys to mess about with um in other news just quickly um every monday at the moment i'm streaming live on twitch i'm doing a separate map on twitch uh it's the uh, london to paris so we're building we're currently building sort of the the Eurostar. so we've we've currently built st pancras and king's cross or king's cross and pancras so both stations we've built the junction i've detailed it a little bit and we just today as i'm recording this episode as I finished streaming just today, we just started on the Stratford International as well. It's going to be something that will take time. It's going to be something I really don't touch maybe once a week when I load the game with you guys. If you want to come join me over at Twitch and come and join in the conversation and slate my build and give me some pointers if you like. Um, but I'm over there. That's twitch.tv forward slash DGUK every Monday from about 2 p.m. in the afternoon for a couple of hours. I'm there chilling. Got any questions? Fire away. Anyway, back to today's video. Let's swoop up to where we're going to be building Coventry. So this, guys, is where I'm looking at putting Coventry. It's extremely close to rugby. It's If we were going to scale it down, it'd probably be where it is. I'm not entirely happy with where I've got to put it. It's simply because if we go left, we're running out of left, basically. We're running out of left. And we've got to go here. Then we've got to do a sharp turn. And I've done some painting here. And I've done a sort of big space here. I'm going to, like, in reality, Coventry is probably further to the left. And then there's a big travel. And then it swings up to Birmingham International. But what we're going to do is, from what I'm, what I'm sort of thinking with the space we have, because I also want to get some more lines here. Because we've got the lines that come out um, from, obviously, further south. London and what I'm thinking is we're going to do a little bit this is where I get a little bit creative and it's not going to be accurate at all the stations will be in order but they won't be in kind of where they want to be and we're going to just sort of make this bit up as we go along simply because it's my fault to be honest I should have gone further right when we left 
there's a couple of reasons why it's my fault i should have been further over here a little bit when i'm building all this so i've set myself up from the start and the trip between maybe bletchley and watford junction needed to be shorter and the trip between london and watford need to be shorter so this needed to be condensed down this in particular could have been shorter here um from from sort of a you know from an aerial view it actually looks quite nice i think once we fill this in because i think what we end up with here is around here the northern line comes up here as well and then we'll, once we'll have i'll be building my second uh, the second version of the uh, St. Pancras and King's, King's Cross St. Pancras here. Um, so which I'll, you know, which will be funny because I'll end up building it twice. And it'll be interesting to see when I build it the second time, like I said, what it looks like compared to my London to Paris build, which we do on the live stream, which I've already said. Like how I evolve it and see if I do it any different. Um, so that'll be interesting once we get there. Um, and obviously these lines, as much as they go left, as some of it bends off this way. And obviously we've also got the Chilton line that comes up through the middle as well. So we're going to have a nice big squash here. And then we're going to have lots of space to our right to play with. So we'll see what we come up with. We'll see what we've got, basically. It'll be interesting here because we're going to have a lot of space to play with. And we'll see what we um, come up with and what, what we can tally in and what we can uh, put in. So we might end up with... I might end up venturing in a different direction than I originally planned. So it might be quite cool. And that's the nature of this map. That's why this map isn't a representation. It's not a grayscale. It's just a randomly generated map. And I've gone with, what can I do with this map to make it like um, the UK-inspired rail network? You know, put in the Great Western, uh, the, uh, yeah, the, 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 you know, the, uh, oh my God, I can't get the word. Get in the, uh, this line in. I know it's gone out of my head and I can't believe it has. Um, and all the main lines in and making them as if they were but using the map that's available to me and not actually um, using a grayscale of a real life map which is quite cool oh this is going to do my head in now I can't believe it's got out of my head the name of this line insane anyway Coventry so we're not going to get much much speed up as we leave rugby to Coventry the trains are actually just going to toddle along and then stop what I'm thinking is is we'll have less high speed trains maybe stopping here maybe one service and the rest will bypass it and we'll have all the um what we're using at the moment all the is it london midland or silverlink services we'll have all those stop here that go this way but we'll only maybe have one high speed uh intercity service stop here and then when we move on to virgin or if we do the virgin and then avanti services only one will stop here and um, eventually i would like to get to the sort of avanti london northwestern period so then we can you know maybe look at uh, hs2 because I do want to put that in at some point, and that's going to be really interesting how we get that coming through here. Because I think it's above ground here, and it crosses this line somewhere. Because what happens up here is, is I've done some markings, some rough markings, like some rough sort of paints. So somewhere in between here, Birmingham, uh, what we got here, Birmingham International. There was originally non-eaten, but I've moved it up here because then I realized HS2 might come in here. And kind of got you know, you got the NEC and bits and bobs here, and then you've got Birmingham Airport, which is formerly Birmingham International here. And then I've put Birmingham New Street here, and then we've got the new Curzon Street station is kind of gonna be somewhere here, I guess, when we do HS2. The long way away, but it's kind of here. But then across the top, you've obviously got the uh was it Birmingham Moore Street? Which I'd like to put in as well because that comes down here. Um, which would be nice because I think that goes all the way to Marleybone. So which would be quite cool. So we're going to do that. So I've roughly marked it out. It probably won't be anywhere near here. I'm going to raise the terrain where New Street's going to be because of the way, like, the trains exit Birmingham off on the viaduct and, and come round. And there's a lot of, like, um, grade separated junction on the exit of uh, Birmingham. And then I'm also going to sort of plan ahead for HS2 and where that sort of viaduct comes in as well because um, a lot of it's above ground. There's, like, the big tunnel and obviously... Birmingham New Street itself is submerged into the ground it's kind of in a cutting with buildings on top of it so I'd like to sort of the best way we can represent that I'll have a play see what mod assets are available share those mod assets with you and see what we can come up with so let's just crack on with Coventry I have downloaded obviously the ultimate like many people have the ultimate station mod we're going to use that on this and give it a try with this one 
And what I've also, there's a few things I'm not happy with with the Ultimate Station mod, and I'm, I'm assuming they're going to get worked out over time. Every time I load the game and have a look at that mod, it seems to have been updated slightly, and there seems to be more more bits and bobs being added to it, which is quite nice. But what I have done is I've had, I've downloaded some um, GWR platform assets, and forgive me because I've completely forgotten the YouTuber's name, and I do watch him a lot because he uses a lot of different mods to to me. And I've forgotten his name. And I, while recording this, I'm going to pop YouTube up now. Because I watch him a lot. And he's, he's a lovely guy. And I really do enjoy his uh, his interpretations of railways and how he does them. Game Over Gaming. So if you haven't watched Game Over Gaming, he's a lovely guy. He does a lot of Transport Fever 2 content. He also does a little bit of uh, some of other content as well. I think he does a little bit of some of the bus simulators. Game Over Gaming. Um... It's uh, at G-O-G underscore Y-T. Go check him out. He's lovely. Um, but I watched some of his. He sort of did a nice sort of easy tutorial video for this uh, this uh, mod. I haven't done one yet. Um, it's something I wanted to play with a little bit first. And I also wanted to see what gets added to it before I did maybe a toolbox video on it. But so, but we are going to use it for Coventry. Maybe because it allow, it's got like, so it's got, uh, it's got two ups and two downs on it. Or two down, two da two ups and two downs, and the sort of southernmost platform is a little bit curved out, and I wanted to give the curvature a try on this. Then I have got the GWR assets to put on top of them because I'm not happy about the distance between the platform and the, the locomotives themselves, and that just brings it in a little bit better. And that again was down to the game over gaming. He sort of uh, made a observation of that himself and then he said he was using this so i thought i'll give it a look and it does look far better although i'm not kind of not overly happy with the um gwr in terms of like the era that they're sort of based in i'm a lot happier with the platform and the way they look so we are going to play with that we're going to play with see what we can get away with with them in terms of where the platforms narrow off a little bit at the end see what we can do with that and um, we may use some of the fencing options i've had a little play but not massively and i thought i'd wing it with you guys basically and see what we get on with i have babbled on so we're going to crack on with coventry station and what i am going to do first is uh control uh, alt control g and get this up and we're going to get rid of this uh hellsworth sawmill because we don't need you and we're going to do that and we're going to pause the game so it doesn't try and build it again actually and we're just going to make some space. Get rid of some of these roads. Um, make some space. And what I'm also going to do is, without killing off my rugby asset, is we are going to go into assets. This big eraser tool lies big space. And we're just going to get rid of some of this. Trees and these white rocks that seem to be a feature of Transport Fever 2. No matter what map you make, unless you do one any custom generated one needs white rocks on it for some reason who knows and what also what we're also going to do here is we're going to raise up the station a tiddly little bit because it is kind of a little bit in a cutting not massively just a tad i um, mean it's, it's kind of in a cutting but it isn't but the, the terrain itself does raise and that's gone actually flat up there we go just a little bit I'm not liking how steep that entrance is there, but it is what it is. So, as I said, ideally, Coventry is far too close to rugby. But that's my own doing, I'm afraid. So, there we go. So, this is where we're going to build our station. Now, what I am going to do is I'm going to bring this track in on the level. That is deep. I've done, that, is, that is deep. Is that that deep all the way no it doesn't it, it breaks out that side that's okay as long as we keep the track level in a cutting and the reason why i'm doing this that's gone too far forwards oh what are we using here are we using <laughs> ah! high speed we're using the uh round tunnels mod let's change that so i can see it the reason i'm doing that is i'm just going to hook up the station to that and then delete it away and then modify the station afterwards just so I'm getting it on a nice level, basically. Um, and what we're going to work with here is the... Whoop. Where is it? Where is it? Where are you? Have I not installed it on here? I sure have. I know I have. I have not. 
Okay, so we're going to go for a, a quick cut, and I'll see you in a second. We are back. Um, I didn't have the mod um, running on this save game. I was playing with it on a different save game, and I didn't have it running on the save game. And obviously, for those of you who know, for whatever reason, once you start getting quite a big map on Transport Fever 2, it takes an age to load. So, we are back. So, let's get on with it. So now, I should go into Rail and buildings and there it is ultimate station that's what we're looking for so with this mod it's great because it allows you to build some flexible curved stations adjust the height of your platforms etc the one thing i think it is lacking but then that was the last time i looked at it was station buildings and sort of color options are quite limited at the moment either way it's a nice mod to have a bit of flexibility and a bit of variety on the map and it allows me to obviously um have some curved platforms so what we're going to do here first is i'm going to set my track type to obviously the high speed track count can stay two for now because i'm going to manually add the rest i'm going to have 10 meter platforms and we're looking for platform length here and why is there no numbers next to my that's way too long. <laughs> Why is that? Oh, no. I don't want radius. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, I can't. Why have I got no numbers next to my um platform? Is that straight? No, it's bending. And again. No, I need it straight. Look at the, look at the straights in the middle. Well, goddamn. That's still bending left a little bit, right? Yeah. One more, maybe. That looks straight, doesn't it? Yes. Right, okay. I need to work out how long this platform is because I have no numbers. Sometimes it shows me digits on the right and sometimes it doesn't. And I don't know why. If anybody does, let me know. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to a platform tab that we're already in and we're going to just drop one of these. And I want this, I think it's 280 to be safe. 280. And we're just going to stick that there. And then I'm going to go back to my buildings, scroll all the way back to our this one and we're gonna have them there. we're gonna bring that down a tad and that's too short and the next one up's too long isn't it okay so we're gonna go too short and then we're gonna pop that one alongside this one and we'll work it out from there so we we're on the track on the right so that's what i wanted because the track on the right is the right um side we're gonna plop that there and we're gonna back this off and then we have our platform that we can play with what i'm also gonna do I'm going to delete this and put it a bit closer next to the um, <clears throat> station. You probably noticed I use these a lot as guides um, for length. If I'm not sure if I'm using the freestyle play platform mod or anything like that, I use these no platform platforms as guides as to how I want them. Why is there great big jaggy bits in the side of the terrain there? That's interesting. Right, so... <clears throat> I need to work out how I'm doing this. So the top platform's relative to the top platform is is straight, but the the lower platform is curved. Now, I think what I need to do with this is I need to let's go into configure. I need to delete this bottom platform. Until the center. If I can get my mouse in there, that'd be lovely. Come on. Why won't you just get in and delete? Come on, highlight. Highlight! Highlight. 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 Right. You're going to be like that, are you? Oh, can't we use this? Doesn't he have a... If I go into this, there's this, isn't there? One, two, three. 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 Like that. I want the middle bit to be straight. Yeah, this is how we're going to do it. And then I'm going to go to tracks. We want high speed. This one, I will plot these here, and then I want to go all the way out to match the length of that, like so. I have thought this through, how I would do this, and then we could actually lay the second lot as well. I also want to change the height of the platforms, but what I need to do is I need to put a train asset down get the height of the platforms right as well before we do anything else so that's that 
Okay, and then I need to go into geometry, G geometry, reference modifier, numeric radiance, directional radiance. I think the directional radiance is a little bit easier. We select this, and then I want to go up a little bit, and I want this. Not, it's not a massive curve. Oh, actually, no, I'm telling an absolute porky. Get out. What, where do I want the curve to start on this? Why, what's going on here? Just end. There we go. I want the curve to start here. Because the whole platform is slightly curved, apart from maybe the two middle sections. And I want this to be about... One, two, three, fourth one, maybe. No, fourth one's too much. So maybe the second one. If we take a look. That's is that too curved? Whoa, whoa, where are you going? Whoa! I reckon that's a little bit too curved. Let's try one. Why can't I? There's still a few issues with this. I'm assuming that's what? What's the one like? The one is better. Yeah, we'll go with the one. That's fine. There we go. And then we do the same this side. Click! We just want you one across. So this way, this way, there. That, why does that look like it's a bigger, bigger bend that side? It does look like a bigger bend. Is that because that one's followed it? Because that one's followed it. That's why. Yeah, that's okay. And you, can you just follow that one in? Can't you just match? Is it better that I delete that track then and then match it together after? Reference modifier. Is this what we do? Too much curvature. Right, okay. Like, let's try something else then. Uh, platforms, delete this. Let's see if we can just line up this track next to it. We can go all the way back. I like the fact that that one followed it. But this one didn't. I've obviously pressed the button and not noticed what I've pressed. And everybody's probably screaming and shouting now. Uh, high speed. Screaming and shouting at it. You're in Julian, you did not follow. Right. Why isn't that following that then? Uh, geometry. Reference modifier. Why isn't that following that in? Why can't we do that? Right, okay, forget it. Let's just add one more to this. And I believe we might have to start this again if this doesn't work. Right, can we reference modify that into that straight bit there then, can we? Oh my goodness gracious me. Well, this hasn't worked out to the way I wanted it to. Right, if I do that, can I build it out from here? Can we? Can we do this? Why not? That should just butt up to that. No, surely. Let's start again. Let's start again. Uh, tracks, high speed. These should just curve, follow one of each other on the reference. But for some reason, they didn't. And I've done this a few times, and that's how it works. And I don't know why it's not working now. It's making me a little bit sad, I'm not going to lie. And all I want you to do is go one to the left. No, to the left. To the right. Right there. Fantastic. Now, can we get that one to follow it? What's this do? That cancels the last move. This confirms the last move. If we select this one. One. Oh, there we go. We can do it like that. Why didn't I do that in the first place? I don't like how fi like, fickle Fickle-ty, is that even a word? How fickle these... <laughs> that one. How fickle the buttons are for selecting these. Like, I know it's like a height perception thing, but my mouse is clearly not that far. There we go. Yes. Not that far along. There we go. Lovely. Well, to my eyes, it isn't anyway. Right. Curved. Lovely. Right. Now we go platforms and then we fill this in. And 
look at that look it just curves it just follows the shape and fills in the space so we get a nice bit of shape on the on the platform and i really love that and i've forgotten the height and then i need to i forgot there is a standard height for platforms and i think it's something like on this game like is it 290 but i don't know what that is in i'm assuming that's like centimeters it's not going to be feet because that'd be a very tall platform but i'm not entirely sure all right i'm quite happy with that that's nice that is nice okay so we're gonna what i was gonna do is is i was gonna put an asset down just a train and i think if I remember rightly there's some gwr i can just put that little bad boy down we can get the height reference from that um we need to go to geometry again and we need is this platform height modifier and you need to go how'd you go up ah, here see i'm not i'm not a big fan of this either how do i all right let's have a look at that did that do it did that do anything did that move i think that went back didn't it then did i press, did I press the cancel button and not the confirm button all right, that's too high whoa did that work no it's gone back again why has it gone back again so how does this this is really really come on come on okay and then do we confirm why did you go back down i don't understand so go up right there we go and then i don't think that's high enough still i think it needs to be Right about there. Right, okay, then that's done. So that's cancel. I'm assuming this is confirmed, this one. Lovely, okay, fantastic. I obviously wasn't pressing it properly, but that looks about right, right? That looks nice, yes. Okay, so now we're going to edit. And then I think what we can do is if we click this don't doesn't it match doesn't it no that's reset that one. Oh my god what i'm not happy okay i'm back and i cheated um so i went back and re-looked at the uh some of the tutorials and I had a look and for whatever reason some bits aren't working for me i should be able to reference the platforms along um height wise but they weren't working for me so what i did is i deleted this station completely and i when i first laid it i set the platform height then and then all the all the platforms from then on when i laid them were the same the reference the pla the the the, the uh, reference um to when i set the distance away from the trains that seemed to copy all the way through so when i sent the distance here it copied all the way through for each platform that was connected to a track so that worked uh, i haven't done this one yet actually but that appeared to work which was quite nice i do like this so the last time i used this this wasn't here so you can get that nice and close to the train side so we don't have a big gap a big ugly gap which is really nice there we go so i did I, I think i've done the platform slightly too tall but i might play with that a bit later on but i'm done i'm done messing with this now the platforms actually look slightly too high to the step Ugh, i can't really see you can't really get close enough yeah maybe maybe one 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 segment too high but we're rolling with that for now um and that's how we're gonna go so what we're gonna do now is i'm just gonna go ahead we're gonna put some where it's not put any details in we're gonna put some components in and just fill in these gaps put some chairs in and then we'll decide upon where we are going to place our stairs i think there's stairs i think it's stairs for uh coventry i think it's stairs i don't think it's underpasses we'll have a look we'll have a look um this is going to be a little bit painstaking but we'll we'll persevere nevertheless i'm glad with this mod that i'm not having to make massive train stations with it yet because i could feel it just getting a little bit bogged down as the station grew um replacing placing the assets etc was just getting a little bit bogged down i want to know why my benches aren't all the same color as well which is terribly odd uh, that's the only thing i could just feel it just getting a little bit boggy as i would like I, I, even now as i'm slowly placing more and more 
assets on it it's getting a little bit laggy and i know a lot of that is the game i appreciate that i do know what this game can do i'm just gonna plop these randomly you know i'm not gonna be that worried about them being that accurate i think i think we just need these just a couple of signs because i'm gonna put some we're gonna put some stairs in I do quite like these sometimes a little bit more random. I'm not overly bored about that sort of detail. We're not going to put any bins in. Right, and I need to skip over to my Google Maps and have a look. Yeah, it's got a great big crossing building. We obviously don't have that available to us in this. Uh, so what do we do here? We add this, don't we? So we're going to have a bridge. Um, it's more towards... Let's have a look. It's kind of dead center, but to the left, if we're looking this way. Are we... No, this way. So yeah, to the left this way. But my orientation was all wrong then. We'll have it about here. We'll have our bridge here. And then we'll have stairs both sides. I like this mod because I can set the distance of my stairs and the, how steep I want them. I'm going to have them not there because that's on top of that. Well, it's going to cover up those benches anyway. Okay, we'll have them a bit offset. Why not? Let's not go too uniform. I'm going to have to delete that bit of asset there at some point. So there's our, our, our bridge connection. Now, there's, there is a nice big building attached to this as well. I think the buildings are kind of quite limited. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to put a white fence. We're going to have a white insulation, sound insulation wall. Yeah, I do like these that are slowly getting added to this, the walls and the insulation, because I think they add a little bit of character the station and just a little bit more realism because i don't like plain platforms with nothing on the edge so you sort of you, you people look like they can just climb up onto the platform from any angle which is fun and i have noticed and i'm gonna put some fence at the end i have noticed um short fence green platform fence what's this look like Uh, yeah, we'll have a little bit. Of, we'll have a bit of green platform fence on the end. I have noticed with the uh, freestyle platforms as well. They have also that modder has also added fences. We're gonna sort out that terrain, so I won't worry too much about that. Added fences to that as well. I need to leave that a gap there because I need to put my platform building, my station building in somewhere. But they've also added uh, fences and walls around it. One thing I've noticed: there's a bug. There, there is a bug with the um it's uh the uh freestyle place platforms mod um it kind of it when you reload the game for whatever reason say these fences they'll be in the middle of your platform and there's also track edges as well and for whatever reason when you reload it sometimes they can if you if you go into configure and just delete one it resets it but it's really weird i found it i found it quite mildly amusing mildly amusing when i loaded it i was like why is there a bit of fence in the middle of my track right and then we have um, entries and i think we're quite limited to entries here so we're just going to go for a, a big a big building because it, it yeah we're still quite limited on the old entries we're just going to go with that and then we're going to go back to our walls and fences and i'm assuming yeah the, these don't also they slightly cover up eesh, the building which is a shame do we just do that and have a little alleyway there? That looks okay, doesn't it? I'll have to do for now. Right. And that is the basics of our Coventry station. Now, there are a couple of roads that cross the platform here. Um, and that's why I've raised the terrain a little bit. It probably needs to come down a touch. But we'll build this out and then we'll see what we get. Because this is quite big. There's some construction going on here. So we'll build this out, build the roads... But what we'll do first is we'll put the tracks in. Let's delete that. And let's have a look at our track layout. So. What we have is. Is we have our two here. And I'm going to have to back this up a little bit. And then. What we have is tracks. High speed. We have this one. Comes into here. In a cutting please. And then we have a. Another one that comes out of this into there and then let's wow what's going on there oh, 
why can't that come out of there all right we'll do this one then shall we and then we'll put that there are we actually going to get this out of here oh <gasps> okay that's interesting i wonder then if i do this uh platform delete that platform collision what with track fantastic we're gonna have the same problem this side all right let's try something different why did you let me build it if you won't let me build it why am i constantly running i'm gonna have to realign the um track again aren't i Why did you let me build that if you won't let me build it? Per se. Fantastic. Right, okay, I managed to fix that. Um, it was my where I put the platform close to the, you know, where you set the distance to track on platform. It was too close. So we managed to fix it. So it now works. So let's pop these back in. We can go with what we originally planned here that into there just alongside no i don't want you to mold into it um you can go all the way actually to what's going on here what is going on back here what is this that's some interesting um track building julian what's that about mate you into there you into there and you come around here and into there lovely right and then we have okay so then we just before this ends so about here we have this coming out here that's fine are we in third rail why is there third rail is there I have third rail attached to this. Why is there third rail? High speed. Oh, I chose the wrong one. That's why. <laughs> I'm having a nightmare on this video. I think it's because I'm tired as well. My brain's just not engaged. And then we have two. Then we have one coming out of this one. Wait. I need to zoom in. Yeah. We have one coming out of this one like so then we also have one coming out of this one a little bit further out and if we i know what we'll do and they all come together but oh that one yeah so this inside one actually comes out here and let's go let's let's extend you out a little bit is that going to be looping no that's fine and then we have you coming out of here is that nope that's horrible why can't you just be good why can't you just be straight all i wanted from you yeah let's let's see there we go and then you into here like so lovely jubbly that's all i wanted from you and then you split off and you do your own business down there but we're going to do that another time there's some madness going on after that but that is pretty much that that goes into there and then oh you no you stay as three you stay as three so we can delete that back there and you come here and then there's some just some switches go on after that uh, you can go there like so that's nice so what we're gonna have is you're gonna have your down fast and slow fast is on the inside slow and you up fast and slow that's nice right let's switch to the other side let's 
Let's see what we've got going on here. Okay, so you two. So let's do let's do this one first. Right, you come out. Right, because we're gonna we we this is gonna be a little bit different. So you can come out. And I'm going to start bending you right. And it's not really like this. This is kind of dead straight in real life. But I need to start thinking about turning right with this. You come into this. Now you two at the bottom. You come down like this. And then just after that, there's a switch here. You come out alongside. So we're three. There's another switch, obviously, to come across. Oh, God. Not giving myself enough room. So delete this switch. We'll build you after. Put you in first. Yep. Why? Yep. Why not? Isn't it funny how, like, it's the angle at which you're facing will depend on, like, or a switch will work because of the orientation of where your mouse is. I find that just really strange. All right, we've got some sidings. Ah, oh, okay. So let's just get this main bit in first and then I'll mess about with that in a second. Okay, and then you, young sir, can bend off like an absolute madman. You're going to go up to Coventry stadium and so forth and then you head off um you head off to non-eaten i believe after that right and then you're gonna curve this way a little bit into a cutting like that i'm happy with that that's fine you're gonna follow and then we're gonna have you come out of here and do that. That's it. That's it. Lovely jubbly. Fantastic. And then we have... We have some cheeky sidings as well. We have like a... a yeah, we have. And then on the exit of this... So I'm going to do this. Uh, we're going to do this. And then I'm going to do this. And these are not electrified. This. Is the sidings electrified? Yeah, they're okay. I see what's going on. Like this is a little bit not as tight as this normally, but that's how we're rolling, all right? So that's how we're having that. And then there's some big old sidings up here as well. Right, so we can leave that like that because that's just how it's going to be for now. That one also looks like it gets used as a piece of track as well. Interesting. All right. We probably won't use that, but there's some sidings that go along. Whether we get to use them or not is an entirely different uh, kettle of fish. Right, let's get back to the train station. We need to get the train station finished because this episode is already going for such a simple station. I've turned it into an absolute nightmare. Has gone on long enough. Right, we're going to flatten out this land a little bit here. And hopefully as we go up and then if we smooth this we should end up with a nice even slope let's get this all smooth as well i'm gonna what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna get the station in we're gonna get some roads in get a connection in and then we're gonna call it um and what i'll do is i will probably detail in my own time but I'm going to leave this as it is once i've added the roads because this building is massive we're not going to get this so we've just got like a road we've got like a road please uh, we've got like 
a two way. We're going to go. We're just going to go two way across. Is it a one way? Oh, might be a one way. Let's do a three way, one way. All right. If we're facing this way, we're going one way this way. All right. A three way, please. And we're going to add a bus lane to this. And then it sort of comes out. All right. And then, okay, I guess. It's not one way at all. Oh, this is taxi only. It's a taxi only. So we're going to go one way, but it's taxi only. <laughs> I'm having a nightmare. Uh, and then we're going to go four street. What, why would I want to delete that? Are you insane? We're going to go four to here. We're going to keep the bus lane because why not? And then we're going to have this to here bending out here. Then up. And then round. We slowly got up here, which is nice. I can deal with that. And then there's some more road here. And there's a great big motorway that goes underneath. There's a car park. There's a right, let's get the bridges. And what I want here is a four-way across this. Gerda. Nice. And then we have a two with no bus lane. Kind of here. Kind of there. That's nice. I can take it. Like so. And then these two link with a road like that. That's nice. A little bit curved. Makes it a little bit more natural. And you've got a load of houses that side. And this one continues to bend and then straight is more residential i'm just trying to get the surrounding rows for you guys in good old google maps eh? in or this way you can go into that. Whew. Oh, where's this big old road go? So then there's this big old road. Okay, so that's that there. That's gone too far, but whatever. There's a big sort of, right, we're just gonna send this with a bus lane all the way up to here like so and we'll just connect you to there and then there is a big old motorway what's it the a what's the a a road a4 a40353 it goes underneath underneath all that there smooth out these edges and this episode has been powered by my tiredness right um anyway Coventry at last at last so what you have is Coventry station you've got that you've got some car parks here what I'll do is in my own times so I'm going to come in and fill this in this all needs filling in now you've got two options I'm going to think about it so as this episode drops today in about an hour once I've done a quick edit and gone through where I've had to take out where I've spent ages trying to learn that platform is I'm going to one or two things will happen depending on time is I'll have an off camera now, go through this, just give it a little bit of detail in here, between the here and here, or I'll just drop it as is and detail this as a connection to maybe when we go to Birmingham International. And I'll do because it's a small section, do you know what I mean? And it needs a little bit of work here. Also needs a little bit of work on these sidings here. So what I might do is leave as, leave as. Do you know what? I'm gonna edit, leave as. Okay, and I'm gonna give it to you guys in your hands. I'm going to leave it as this. I'm not even going to touch the turn back. I'm going to leave that up for Northampton, even though I'm not sure it's going. Uh, and you guys can 
have your way with it all right um and in the next couple of episodes i will do my own detailing version and connect this up and i'll probably do it when we've hooked up birmingham international so we have a bigger space but either way coventry station is in it looks all right i'm reasonably happy with it obviously needs some work but i'm gonna leave it there guys thank you very much for watching don't forget to like and subscribe really appreciate it and i'll see you in the next one